Hey, Cash2 community. This is Paul. Today I'd like to give a close-up view of the AmpMiner A3 as well as the power supply and also go over how to connect the power supply to the miner. So this is the AmpMiner A3. This is the front of it. AmpMiner A3. This is the intake fan. So cold air goes in here. This is the ethernet port where you put in your ethernet cable to connect it to the internet. These two lights here will tell you how the miner is functioning. Uh, if everything is going okay, there will be a green light flashing here where it says normal. If there's something wrong with the miner, uh, there will be a red light, either a solid red light or a flashing red light in fault. So that's the front of the miner. If we turn it to the side, that's the side of the miner. This is the back. This is where the hot air will be blown out. This is the other side. And now we'll take a look at the top. All right, so this is the top of the miner. And if you look here, these are the holes where the power cables from your power supply will be connected into. This one, three here, three more here, and three here for a total of 10 cable slots. So let's take a look at the power supply. We'll move this to the side. This is the APW3++ power supply from Bitmain. This is where your power cable will go into our power cord. You have to buy that separately. It doesn't come with the power supply. Here's the fan. This is the side. The back side. These cables come are attached to the power supply. You don't have to buy these separately. They came with the power supply. I just want to give you a close-up look at one of the, the connectors, what it looks like. There's a little clip on top that holds these cables into your amp miner. There are a total of 10 uh, plugs here. And this, these are the ones that you're going to connect to the top of your amp miner A3. So let's take a look at the side. And here it shows that this is the APW3++. The newer model is the APW7. I recommend getting that one if you have a 220 volt electricity or 240 volt. Um, I, I currently don't have access to that one, so I bought this one instead so I could use it with the 120 volt that I, that I have here. All right, so now we're gonna connect the power supply to the AmpMiner A3. And uh, what we have to do is you can either lift this power supply up on its side because the cables aren't really that long. Uh, you have to connect these up here. So it's the cables are a little short. You can either lift it on its side like this or you can use something to help hold it up. I actually have the, the box that the power supply came in and I can just set it up on here for now. Just push it over. All right, so now we're gonna take each of these cables and one by one, uh, just connecting it to the top of, I'm sorry. We'll take each one of these cables here and we'll put them into the slots up here. 
So let me pull this a little bit closer. All right. So here's one of the. Let's see if we can get that in focus. All right. And then we just plug it in here. this and then just one by one you just connect them all into there you'll hear a little click when when they get, uh, when they fit into the slots correctly. So we'll go in here. Last one is up here, so we'll connect this one up here. All right, so now the power supply is connected to the Antminer A3, and we can see all of the power cords are in. Three up here, one over here, three more down here in the middle, and three, three more. One, two, three. All right. The next step is to connect the Antminer A3 to the internet. So let me grab my ethernet cable. All right, so this is the ethernet cable. I'm just gonna attach it in here. Okay. So that's in place. And the last step is to connect the power cord in here and connect it to your outlet. So let me put the camera down. I'll grab the power cord, put it right here. I'll grab the power cord and we'll connect it into here. Here's the power, the, the part of the power cord that goes into the power supply. So you just set the camera down, plug it in. And this end goes into the wall. So let me just plug this in. Let me set this, uh, let me set this down. Plug it in. All right. So now the power supply uh, turns on automatically once you plug in the power cord into the outlet. And we'll just give it a minute for the miner to, to start. So the noise you're hearing right now is the fan from the power supply. It hasn't turned on all the way yet, but currently the, the noise that you're hearing is the fan from the power supply and from the amp miner, the intake fan of the amp miner.
So what you're hearing now is the sound of the fan in the back. It's blowing warm air out this side. And now we see that the green light is blinking where it says normal. So everything is running okay now. And the miner is currently mining. All right, that's it for now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.